Each wheel appears to unfold. Yo, did that bus just do it that white? Legs. Yo, this bus, bus is looking extra creepy. Oh, what's going on, Cody? Welcome to Nathan for Reaction. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Man Eating Bus SCP 2086 Rerouting SCP Animation. This is by Dr. Bob. Now, this sounds really interesting, but also like really creepy. And I'm really interested to see this. This is always linked to the video in the description. And we'll also, guys, a new channel, smash that subscribe button. Let's go and check out Man Eating Bus SCP 2086 Rerouting SCP Animation. A young woman on her way home is walking down a city street and just like most nights Yo, the downtown empties out after the working white. day ends leaving the streets empty of both cars and pedestrians Dude, that's really sus. she hates when she has to close the shop and walk to her bus stop alone and she is excited that in just another week she will be starting a new job that's just around the corner from where she lives okay she just has to get through these last few nights of being the last one at the store and having Dude, there's to walk literally home like no one around immediate that is now, so though, creepy is that her music has stopped the young woman takes her phone out to check it. Dead. Yo. She must have forgotten to plug in the charger. She hates when she does that. Dude, now yeah, she'd have to spend real, the bus though. ride staring out the window at nothing. What was that? The woman looks up from her phone. Did she see someone? She turns around and sees something on the other side of the street. It's dark, and all she can oh. make out is a big shadowy figure. She doesn't Dude, stare what? for long, though, and starts Dude, to walk again, that, picking up her pace slightly. She can hear the sound of footsteps and glances over her shoulder. Bruh, is that dude following her? Like, he's being extra creep creep, though. Like, the person across lights? the street is moving, too. And Bruh. they seem to be matching her pace, avoiding any streetlights to remain in darkness. I'd be like, is that just she a shadow, a dude? <laughs> and so do they. Bruh, the I would start running, dude. I'd be out of there. She doesn't know what this person is doing or what they want, but she's going to be ready for them. She keeps walking and glances over her shoulder again. They're crossing the street towards Bruh. her now. She ducks Dude, into where alley. is as everybody, soon as she's though? The and out of sight, she starts to run. She sprints through the alley as fast as she can. Bruh. She looks behind her, frightened of what she might see. Dude, yeah, no I would be there. too, though. Maybe she was wrong and they weren't following her. But she's not about to stop running and find out. She emerges from the alley, still running as hard as she can. She reaches her bus stop and finally stops to catch her breath. She checks her watch. The bus should be pulling up right now. But it's nowhere Bruh. to be seen. She looks around. Yo, where is this bus though? Like, oh my goodness, dude, bus, you need to and go what she in does like see now. There's a shadowy figure coming out <laughs> Yo, of the alley. Yo, no way, and dude. It's coming straight towards her. Oh! She backs up into the bus stop and Yo, takes that, the pepper spray that out of her pocket, her finger ready on the trigger. Dude, she does have pepper spray. Keeps moving towards dude, I was thinking her, he needs a pepper spray. The dark street is lit up. The woman looks behind her to see her savior. Bro, where's it's that the bus? bus? Dude, she hurry turns up! Back to see the shadowy figure retreating to the alley, as if the light is pushing it away. The woman breathes he a sigh of relief though. and finally lets some of the tension in her body release as the bus comes to a stop in front of her. The door. Bro, the bus is like coming in clutch though. Like, dude, like it could have got there a little bit sooner, but door swings I mean, open at least and the it's woman there. steps inside. I've never been so happy to get on the bus, she says to the driver as she scans her transit card. The driver doesn't respond. Dude, he's looking sus. Doesn't react to her at all. He just keeps staring straight ahead. The woman doesn't push it, though. She's just happy to be on the bus, even if it is completely empty. She heads to the back of the bus. What if that dude was, like, trying to protect her? Because this is, like, a man-eating bus. That's what the title says. So what if that man was, like, trying to, like, be like, hey, don't get on that bus, dude. Takes a seat. That would be some type away, of trip. She can almost swear she could see the shadowy figure standing. But I don't know. He's being exorcist, dude. Like <laughs> I don't know about along that. along the empty city streets as the woman looks out the window and takes deep breaths, trying to calm herself after her harrowing ordeal. After a while, she notices that the bus doesn't seem to be stopping as much as it normally does, or at all, for that matter. Bro, that's extra creepy. They change the route, or did she get on the wrong bus? They are approaching her stop, though, so it doesn't matter and she Bruh. reaches up to pull the cord. A bell chimes, and the stop requested light illuminates in the front of the bus. But the driver doesn't show any sign of Dude, stopping. Dude, bus driver, slowing down. pull over! <laughs> Dude! But still, no reaction. What is wrong with this bus? As she sees her building go by, she calls out, Bruh. Hey, this is my stop. Dude, that is extra sus, dude. Like, she was like, oh, there's my place that I live in. He's like, nope, I'm not stopping. Dude, that is so sus, bro. What is wrong with this bus? But the driver doesn't acknowledge her at all. Dude, bus she driver, stop! The front. Didn't you hear me? This is my stop. Still no reaction from the driver. Hey, I said... She reaches out and grabs his shoulder, spinning him towards her. Oh! 
find herself staring into the eyes of a fresh Yo, what is wrong with this boss dude? Why? The driver slumps forward. Yo, that is extra creepy. Dead body. Oh, as well as the, fact that the bus will crash. But when she looks at the steering wheel, she sees that Dude, how is this like is the bus like driving itself? Like how is this thing like driving, dude? Like what? What happened to the bus driver, dude? It is continuing to move on its Yo, own. Oh, this is so the creepy. is in a full-blown panic now. She screams dude, I would and be like, the door, I'd, be like the I'd be like bashing wind. I'd be doing something. I'd be like, "Get me out of this she thing." Know what to do. Dude, that is terrifying. The door, but it doesn't budge either. The bus speeds up even more, whipping around corners and tossing her from Bruh, side this, to side. This bus is... She's thrown to the ground and hits it's her like head. It's like a haunted bus. Her eyelids feel like they weigh a hundred pounds, and she struggles to keep them open. She manages to stay awake, though. And as she looks up in a daze, staring at the ceiling of the bus, she can Yo, see a what green is gas that? emanating from the vents. It's the last thing she sees before her eyes close for good. Bruh. The bus finally comes to a stop in a deserted area of the city. Yo, what was that, dude? And what is wrong with this bus? This bus being extra sus and extra creepy, dude. Like, this is like a haunted bus or something, dude. The vehicle raises slightly as one after another, each wheel appears to unfold. Yo, did that bus just long, do it that white? Legs. Yo, this bus, bus is looking extra creepy. Appendages that is terrifying. Two massive wings. Why? The bus, the bus just the took sky, off, dude. Its wings. Bruh, this is like what nightmares are made of! How could this young woman have known that after escaping danger, that her rescuer would be something worse? Much worse. Unfortunately for her, she had just willingly stepped onto an instance of SCP-2086, a deadly and terrifying anomaly that hides Bruh, in plain sight me, as it stalks and hunts its human prey. SCP-2086 This bus looks like an insect just like transformed into a bus that's like haunted and just well, Dude, I don't even know dude how to describe this X is the designation the SCP Foundation has given to a species that appears to belong to the arthropod phylum A group that also Why includes arachnids like a bus? and crustaceans These strange creatures differ from most of their lobster and spider brethren in that they make use of an advanced form of camouflage to move among modern Wait, society that's camouflage? unseen. Adult SCP-2086 instances so this all resemble can, like, some sort of public into... transportation vehicle, with the exact make, model, year, and branding varying from instance to instance. Bruh. SCP-2086 instances move about the streets of our cities foraging for food, and at first glance, they are virtually indistinguishable from the standard transit vehicles they are mimicking. Dude. Close examination of them, though, Why will don't? reveal that the steel, wood, plastic, and glass they are composed of aren't those materials. Wait, so this is like an insect that can, like, transform into, like, different... That's, like, camouflage, dude? So it's camouflaged as a bus, dude? Like, what? That is so sus, dude. But a form Why? of specialized chitin which is the substance that makes up the hard exoskeleton of many insects and other Bruh. arthropods. This is like And that's nightmares. not the only aspect of SCP-2086 that isn't actually what it appears to be. I don't know if I can look at the buses wheels on the, the same bus way may go again, round though. and round, but they also are capable of unraveling into long, thin legs Bruh, I'm gonna that be, create a very Is there like a bus phobia going on now? <laughs> like, I think I might be on that height. buzz. No pun intended. The roof, too, <laughs> is able to unfurl into a set of giant insectoid wings. Oh, that is wings. terrifying, dude. Why, though? No. With its powerful legs. It's like from another world, dude. The bus can take flight, dude, this bus is flying, literally. travel when it is not in its camouflaged hunting mode. Its oh headlights, too, goodness, are an dude. entirely biological mechanism, consisting Why? of two large bioluminescent <laughs> Why, optical don't? organs similar to those possessed by SCP-0152T <laughs> no, and SCP-745. Oh, that, the, these things are Dissections get, of SCP-2086 specimens like aliens, have shown dude. them to have an entire system of organs, including a heart, brain, and stomach, Why? which are found beneath the, <laughs> Why in the no? creature's interior chamber. <laughs> they, SCP-2086 appendages this are not just alive. used for locomotion, though. And they have been observed as being able to use them for fine object manipulation. I, I don't this even fact know was learned anymore. when they were observed <laughs> building crude shelters from scrap materials at their nesting grounds. More this buzz is looking extra terrifying though, like, oh, so its headlights are like its eyes, and like, it's looking like a buzz, dude, and it's got feet, and it's flying, dude, and like, dude, this is what, like, oh, On these nests, this is so creepy. And the terrifying events that take place there, later. When SCP-2086 is not at its nest, it engages in its foraging behavior. Typically, oh, an SCP-2086 instance will fly to the Why? start of a no. route and begin driving along city streets, picking up human passengers who willingly enter the creature's inner chamber, thinking that it is a standard bus. I don't know. Along with its exoskeleton closely resembling a, a real vehicle, 
SCP-2086 has one more particularly Imagine, gruesome like, trick the bus, to fool like, would-be passengers into like becoming its prey. This. A bus that they drives use, like, itself would lead to many to, to think parks. twice about stepping on board. So SCP-2086 right makes use of a decoy driver, which is actually a human corpse encased and preserved in a shellac-like substance. Smaller, fibrous appendages protrude from the front seat and into the corpse, which hold it in place and are uh, even capable of manipulating the corpse, giving it the appearance of... I mean, like, my first thing when I got on the bus, dude, I'd be like, Hey, bus driver, you okay, dude? You're not looking so well. And if he did not respond, like, that would be, like, the first sign, like, hey, something's up, dude. Like, I mean, if you can tell, like, I mean, if he's looking well or not, dude, like, I mean, that would be, like, the first movement sign. Movement as it drives the bus. Once SCP-2086 has gathered up what it considers to be enough victims, a number that appears what? to vary from instance to instance, it will release a noxious gas from yeah, its interior Yeah, what is vents. that stuff? The gas produces an effect in humans similar to chloroform, and everyone no. on board will be rendered unconscious. The creature, now filled with its prey, does not feed on the humans trapped inside it, though. Instead, it will take them to its nesting grounds, which is where oh. the real horror begins. Bruh! These nesting grounds no! are most often localized in scrap and junk that have fallen into disuse or are I don't want to go there! And it is in these nests that- Dude, oh my goodness, dude, like, oh, this is so creepy. Like, I mean, like, so it, basically they just knock them out with chloroform and just, like, keep them- Oh my, this is so sus, dude, like, I can't even, dude, I The juvenile I can't. instances of SCP-2086 Where is this bus taking? Or this insect thing, While a full bus thing, instance thing can taking weigh as much them, as 17,000 kilograms, I can't. which is the approximate curb weight of a normal bus, extensive dude, field research and observation on, into SCP-2086 like has to led to the identification of the smaller, juvenile instances, which are much smaller than their adult counterparts, weighing under 200 kilograms. But they don't stay this size for long. When an adult SCP-2086 arrives back at the nest with its interior chamber filled Bruh. with human prey, it will open its doors and allow the juvenile members to enter inside of it so they can feed and grow. No. Once inside, a juvenile oh! will remove a passenger from the bus and take them outside. Dude, the effects of the chloroform no! gas will often begin to wear off Bruh, at this, this time. But terrifying! By this point, it is already too late. The juvenile oh, instance no. will then proceed to force Bruh. the human into a hole located under their hood. This leads to a sort of digestive tract oh, that connects to bruh. its inner chamber where the driver's seat bruh. is located. <laughs> what is going Small, on? Small, tear-like appendages will then emerge from the seat and protrude into the prey's oh! body, which hold Did them that in place in the just driver's door, seat that and trap them there, Dude, that is terrifying. at the same time acting as feeding tubes, draining the blood from the now-doomed passenger. Once the person has been completely drained of blood, the feeding tubes will begin... Dude, I... I think the bus is like turned like to the dark side, dude. And like, secreting a saline solution I, as the internal I, compartment fills terrifying. with a shellac like substance. And the effects of both combine to effectively embalm and preserve the corpse, which will serve as its own decoy driver once it enters adulthood. Bruh, and this process you're happens kidding. quite quickly. A newborn SCP-2086 will reach adulthood in just one week, provided that it has had access to nutrients, at which point it will begin searching for new sources of- <laughs> Wait, so basically it turns into like a minivan, into like a full-blown bus in a week, dude? Like, oh my, talk about like, I mean, just a gross spurt and a half, though. Pray for its own offspring, of which it will likely Why, have plenty. 2086 instances become capable of reproduction at eight days, and females are able to He's produce up to 20 bro. offspring. But their lives are quite short, with their entire life cycle usually lasting just 12. These things reproduce too, dude. This is this, this is a problem, dude. This this thing is a terrifying problem, dude. Like it can fly, it can create other bus m insect things, dude. Like I can't. It can turn into like a minivan into like a full bus in like eight or a week or something like. Dude, this is this is days. not cool. Prior to feeding and beginning the process of becoming Bro, a full size extra adult, creep, creep, juveniles though. will also leave the nest and will covertly move this about the so city, sus. removing bus stop signposts that and is relocating sus. them, often creating a route Dude, that, that leads back to its nest. These are the routes that adult instances will then typically follow as they hunt for more prey to bring back to their colony. I need to SCP find out. SCP-2086 instances have been found in metropolitan avoid. areas around the world, and news reports are closely monitored by the Foundation for missing persons that had recently used public transport. Bruh. With Foundation field agents being dispatched to potential high-threat areas to investigate further. Oh, 
Any dude, they just... that are discovered oh, their dude. locations condemned if they dude, those things are just like scurrying along you know they have to be like uh, at least the size of a car can you imagine dude like going somewhere and like you're invest you have to investigate this and like you just see like a little insect car going oh man i'd be like nightmares for days dude i would not even know what to Aren't do already. i'd be like did i just see that using chemical explosives Previously, an effort was made to capture and contain live instances of SCP-2086, and currently, the Foundation has five such specimens in its custody, which are stored in a converted Dude, they airplane all hangar. Need to be a, they Due all to need their to short lifespans like, and away. high rate this of reproduction, the amount of live specimens contained at any given time can vary widely, and will often depend on the number of available D-Class personnel who can serve as drivers. Oh, no, not the Terminated specimens dude. are either destroyed or sent to a specialized cold Dang. storage container at a secure site for further biological research. SCP-2086 continues to be one of the most dangerous anomalies for common, everyday users of public transportation, and the SCP Foundation has classified it as Keter. While identified colonies are able to be destroyed with minimal effort once discovered, Dang. there is no telling how many nesting grounds still remain in the wild. So the next time you're about to board a bus, pay extra... I don't think I'm going to board a bus anytime soon, dude. I don't know about you guys, do, but I mean, my bus phobia is on high right now. And I never had a bus phobia. But after seeing this, I don't even know if that's a thing. But it might be now, dude. Because, I mean, oh, my goodness, dude. This is for careful ah, attention this to is it. terrifying. Or you may find that your bus oh, is rerouting you somewhere you never wanted I have to bus go. Is there even now a thing called bus phobia? Is terror, there a bus phobia? SCP-745, the headlights. And don't forget to dude the headlights was a, a trip and creepy too dude like those headlights though like they there's two of them i mean you guys go see dr Brown's video on that but that, that was super creepy dude like oh my goodness but this man-eating buzz dude oh i still like am interested interested to see like what the shadow like man was was he trying to like like get her to be like hey don't get on that bus like did he know what was going on dude because that was really interesting but this bus dude like super creepy dude it can like have children and stuff like that dude have little baby like buses i don't even know dude like it looks like an insect it can fly dude this this thing was literally like flying i'm not talking about speed i'm talking about like like in the air dude like oh that was so sus so creepy dude i don't even know dude like oh my also the animations dude like that was a uh, very <laughs> depictive i guess dude that was just so creepy dude like oh my goodness like scp2086 dude i mean i have i never knew there was a thing for bus phobia i still don't even think there is but but oh my after seeing this dude i think i may have one dude like oh my goodness dude like first off like if i see a driver that looks like he's not there like dude like i'm like are you okay dude and then like if he like doesn't respond me like now nah, i'm getting off this bus dude like i'll just walk like oh my goodness dude like that is so terrifying so creepy oh this man eating bus dude like that is it, it's like so they take them there and they use them as their decoys like oh man this is just extra sus dude and extra creepy but oh my goodness scp2086 man that was just like really creepy what do you guys think about man eating bus scp2086 rerouting scp animation let me know in the comment section down below also click that bell to turn notifications but as always guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it. hope you guys did enjoy the video as always guys i'll catch you in the next reaction video